so <laughs> there's another leak from the roof um it's where i think it's coming from is the where the center line weld is um, the ring for the center line weld is on the roof so i i'm gonna go out there now it's a really sunny day uh first day of the year wearing a t-shirt so it must be warm because i'm a cold person so i'm gonna go out there sand this weld off sand the paint off the weld sand the paint off the weld that's above the wardrobe because that's also where i think the water's coming in from there um so i had some advice on that one so uh, my friend david came and gave me some advice and he thinks that's where the leak from the wardrobe is coming from because there is a, a roof weld straight over that whole line where i showed you the leak was coming from down this corridor so that's where we think that's coming from so we're going to sand off all the paint today uh cover it up with epoxy and then when that's dry do a coat of iron oxide and then a coat of paint and hopefully that'll prevent it from sort of getting any worse so we'll see how that goes here's that leak on the ceiling of the center line so it's not it's not too big what is it 10 15 centimeters um and sort of about 20 all the way across i've put everything i need for the roof in here to begin with anyway the sand and stuff so uh, ear defenders goggles mask pads and sander, Ryobi sander. So I can put this on top of the roof and it's too big to go under the gunnels. So if I knock it off or kick it or whatever, then it won't slide off the roof. So this is for safety. I do feel really bad for what I'm about to do. It's a beautiful sunny day. People are sitting outside, um, enjoying the sun and I'm gonna go and disturb their peace now with power tools but i'm sorry this is a job i can only do on a dry sunny day so i do i do apologize for that if anybody's watching this that i disturbed this week then i'm so sorry well the sander didn't work because it's so bumpy i hadn't realized because there was so much paint on it but it's really really bumpy so i couldn't get the sander in any of the crevices so i actually just did this by hand um, using sort of a paint scraper, a chisel, a Stanley knife, a wire brush and some sandpaper. So um, the reinforcements, uh, aka my parents, might be bringing me um, some sort of wire brawl attach, sorry, wire brawl? Wire wool attachments, uh, sandy attachments for another tool that might give me a hand. Um, but I think I might have found some problems so there's a lot of rust in here um, and around here as well like somewhere in here and things around that side that go in quite deep so that might be the problem um, but look I've just spotted these um, I've just spotted these ducks Look, duckies they just jumped in I didn't spot them coming <laughs> Oh bless. Right, so we're not getting on too badly. So I finished cleaning this and then a lovely neighbour gave me something cool to try. So it's this um, Captain Tolly's Creeping Crack Cure and apparently it finds like the hole so you put it on and there you go, it finds its way inside cracks by capillary action. So pretty cool and I kind of put it sort of around sort of the top and bottom and then it dries on and then when that's dry I'm going to put on the epoxy resin and then lightly sand that and then I should be able to paint over that with iron oxide and then paint over it in the paint. And the other leak or the other weld I thought I had a problem with was further up the boat so this one here so all the way along so I've sanded this and cleaned it and prepped it and I'm gonna do the same with the Captain Tolly stuff on here I can't find a hole in with this one either but there is some sort of deeper deeper cracked areas but I don't think there's a hole there but we'll see we can but try
this is what I've now put on top of those bits. So a JB Weld Quick Weld Epoxy. And I'll show you what that looks like. I put it on a few minutes ago, so we'll go and check it now. It's supposed to be dry and uh, sort of solid in six minutes. And then does it say, it doesn't say on here. Um, but only, so it comes with this handy tray. So the packaging, this is the packet and it comes with a little tray on top. So it's quite handy. So what does it say? Yeah, cures in four to six hours. So by tomorrow it'll be fine. I haven't done the other wells. So this is just around the center line. So I'll go out and show you now and explain what I've done. Here is the center line ring and you can see the gray epoxy there. So that will hopefully fix any holes on top of the, uh, what was that? Captain Tolly's <laughs> crack sealer. So hopefully this is job done, or at least for today. Uh, tomorrow I can put iron oxide on it and paint it. And then the other world is this one and it's still a little bit damp from the crack sealer. So I'm gonna leave this till tomorrow. It's not due to rain, it's supposed to be a gorgeous evening and tomorrow. So hopefully this will all be dry and ready and I'll epoxy along this join tomorrow. Thanks so much for all your lovely comments in last week's video. Um, there was some great advice from um, uninsulated roof causing condensation, uh, metal roof bars under the plywood, um, and also a leak from totally different place to where I think there's going to be a leak. Um, so really great and I think there's merit to all of those. Um, when I got the comments I had already taken um, some advice so that's why the repairs that are in this video are there. Um, so uh, a friend of mine who has a boat, I think I've mentioned this already on this video, um, came and had a look and said that it, it might be a, a leak um, from the roof so we started doing repairs and I'm going to finish that today. I've got um, a last coat of iron oxide to put over the repairs so hopefully that will will help um, but we'll see and then if it doesn't I'm not going to worry too much if there's still condensation um, I'm going to go with the, the condensation in the uninsulated part of the roof the roof was warm um, to the uh, to the touch the sun had been on the boat so the boat was very hot and as you remember um, the area of damp was very warm in the sh in the cupboard and the same with the leak in the middle of the boat as well so hopefully that that will i'm not going to worry about it okay. if it gets worse we'll see but i am finding more sort of damp patches along the side of the boat on the inside on the plywood so and they are sort of regularly spaced out so that could well be um the roof bars that were mentioned i do have trouble believing that there's suddenly loads of leaks on the roof um so we'll see Thanks also to the great comments about uh, sort of conversation with the bed um, and a sort of feedback from, from the, the vinyl. You're right, yeah, those holes. Um, the guy who owned the boat before me has, has told me that, yeah, the line looks great, but now I'm blocking the, the um, aeration holes. The trouble is, is that those holes don't go anywhere. They just go into the bottom of the boat and that's, you know, that, that doesn't run the whole strip. So the, the air still doesn't move. Um, so I'm, I am going to take the excellent advice to drill some holes in that bottom of the bed um, in, the, in the base. So great idea. I'm going to do that today. Um, I also hate using the holes because I have the wood stuck in the holster bit. But I watched this great video. Um, I can't remember the, the guy who did it now. Um, I'll put a link in the description if I can find the video again. But it was great, like techniques for taking out wood from a hole saw. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, so thanks for that. I'll do that today. Let you know how I get on. Second coat's on and it looks fabulous. Really pleased with that job. So that's done now. And hopefully, if it was a leak, it's fixed. And the same with the line, line weld here. This is done. really pleased with what it looks like. Jobs are good and, and fingers crossed. At least I know that if any more water comes in it's 
condensation it's not a leak at least not a leak from this world so we'll see watch and wait now as suggested i have put some holes in the base of the bed don't mind the angle grinder in the corner there <laughs> that's for another job it wasn't for this so this is just using a hole saw and i only had to do that um technique once when one of these wood chips got stuck in the hole saw bit on the hole it was fine and the sun's even just come out as well which is really nice because it's been an utterly gloomy day and now yeah the sun's come out so that's quite nice hey, hey mattress is in exciting Oh my god, I just heard this like tapping sound and I just crept outside and there's these ducks eating the garden that is growing on my hall. I'll see if I can get a video but they might have gone off. Yeah, they've obviously eaten enough of my moss growing. There they go! <laughs> so cute! It's like they were eating all the, um, all the grass. I don't think you can see it but there's loads of weed on my hall. So cute!